Hello everybody and welcome back to Bring Your Own Popcorn and welcome to another first time watching video and in this video I'm going to be watching for the first time and reviewing Predator. So throughout this series on the channel I've been working my way through the Alien franchise and with watching Covenant I have now finished all six Alien films and I thought what better to follow up the Alien franchise than the Predator franchise. Simply because you've got both those Alien vs Predator films. So once I've done all four Predator movies, actually I think there's five now. I think one got released on Disney Plus. So all five Predator films, I'm going to watch both Alien vs Predator films. The first Predator film is a film that I should have definitely have seen by now. It is an action classic and I have no excuse for not watching it. It's Arnold Schwarzenegger, 80s action classic directed by the same person who done Die Hard I believe so yeah really excited to watch this one. In terms of plot I actually know very little I know obviously there's a predator some alien looking creepy thing um, hunting down these I think army cadets or like soldiers in a forest I'm pretty sure that's like the plot of the first film but yeah really excited to get into this one. So without further ado let's get this franchise kicked off with Predator. First thing we need to do is get the box set off the shelves. So I need to go all the way down to the peas. Where are we? Where are we? We are down here. And I have the four film collection of Predator. So that's Predator, Predator 2, Predators and The Predator. And I've heard mixed things about the sequels, but I've heard nothing but amazing things about that movie that we're watching today, which is the first Predator film. Okay, so let's take out the first Predator film. Look at that cover, man. That's so sick. It just looks like pure 80s action cheese, which I'm just I'm just so excited for. The Ultimate Edition as well. I don't know if that's going to be a, an extended cut or what, but let's read the back of the Blu-ray to see what I am in store for. Deep in the jungle, several bodies have been discovered, skinned and hanging from trees. Although who or what could have done this? is a mystery. I'm going to make an educated guess and say it was the Predator that done this. <laughs> Military covert specialist Dutch, played by Arnold Schwarzenegger. Of course his name's Dutch. The most non-American guy ever and they give him the most American name possible. And his team are called in to eliminate the threat, but once in the heart of this menacing jungle, they discover something far worse than they could have ever imagined. The Predator. An alien which has come to Earth with cloaking technology, extensive combat skills and a desire to hunt humans for sport. Man, I'm excited for this. Um, so without further ado, let's crack on and watch Predator. Okay, so let's pop out the disc. If I can get it, here we go. Take it over to the player. Pop it in, if I can get it in, there we go. And let's watch Predator. I'm excited for this one. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Here we go. Okay, so the film's all ready to go. I'm really excited for this one. I've heard nothing but great things about it. So without further ado, let's watch Predator. I got a score to settle. We both got scores to settle. You must have wanted it. Its blood was on the leaves. If it bleeds, we can kill it. One ugly motherfucker. Okay, so I have now seen Predator. I actually watched the movie yesterday. And I just wanted to mull over my thoughts a little bit before I actually film my review. So this is the next day. And I know a lot of people consider this to be one of the classic 80s action films. Like, this, a lot of people put it on the same kind of level as the likes of Die Hard or The Terminator. Whilst I wouldn't regard this as good as those movies, and I don't think this film worked on the same level as me as it does for most people. I still thought this was a really fun time. I had a, I had a lot of fun with this movie. Let's first talk about the story of the film. I absolutely loved the concept of the movie. These 
soldiers in the middle of nowhere in this jungle being hunted down by this unknown entity. That's just such a cool concept for a film. And as for execution, it is executed fairly well for the most part. The film is pretty much just a mindless, action-packed runaround for 90 minutes and whilst I don't necessarily see that as a problem, when you have a concept as cool as The Predator, I thought a little bit more could have been done with it. The film also just throws you into the story with very little setup. There's literally a, a 10 minute sequence at the start of this movie, maybe not even 10 minutes, maybe 5 to 10 minutes, um, which is used to set up why they are going into the jungle. And then it just completely throws you into it head first. And I didn't think that this five to ten minute sequence was a satisfactory setup for the film. However, I should just stop moaning. I should just shut up because this film was a heck of a lot of fun. The film is completely action packed from beginning to end and it is so incredibly tense. All the characters I think are written well and they're very likeable characters which means to know that these characters are going to be slowly killed off throughout the film, it makes it even more nerve-wracking. The dialogue is undoubtedly cheesy, um, but cheesy in a good way. That, that kind of 80s Arnold action film cheesy, which I just absolutely adore. I just wish a little bit more was done to explore the really cool concept that they had. This film would actually have benefited from an extra 15 or 20 minutes added into it to really flesh out this story. Overall, however, I thought it was a pretty fun script. It is classic 80s action cheese. Yeah, it was a good story. The direction by John McTiernan was also pretty darn good. For one, I absolutely loved how gruesome the film was. I actually wasn't expecting it to be all that violent, despite it having an 18 rating. The violence was really fun in like a slasher kind of way, and that was really appreciated by me. If you love over the top 80s cheesy action, this is the film for you. It is literally explosion, followed by explosion, followed by a character emptying a minigun um, <laughs> into, into another character while screaming like, ah, while emptying this minigun, followed by another explosion. It is literally that for the full film. And it's, it's so over the top, but I couldn't help but just love it. The one place this film's a letdown for me on a technical level was the effects and the CGI. The incredibly dated effects in this film, they just, they didn't look great. They haven't aged well at all and they just look extremely cheesy. I can see what they were going for with the effects, but I can't even see these effects looking good when the film came out in 1987, never mind 2024. Whenever something is a practical effect, it looks really darn good, like the Predator. The Predator itself looks amazing, but whenever they rely on CGI or anything to do with a computer effect, it's, it's bad. It's, it just looks bad. In terms of performances, they all get a thumbs up from me. As much as I do make fun of Arnold Schwarzenegger, he is undoubtedly a fantastic action hero. He's one of the best. I don't think for a second that he's one of the best actors in the world. I would actually more lean on him being a bit of a bad actor. It's actually quite ironic that his best performance he's ever given is him playing a robot. <laughs> Which I guess shows you what his line delivery is like. Um, but in terms of just action hero, he's one of the best. This type of film is the type of film that he was just born to be in. Another great performance in the film is Carl Weathers. Rest in peace, Carl Weathers. He just recently passed away. And yeah, he's fantastic in this movie. I thought the whole supporting cast were really good. Um, they were written really well and performed really well by the actors. And also the guy actually playing the Predator, he does a really good job too. Overall, whilst Predator did disappoint me a little bit, I think maybe because just it was hyped up a lot to me, um, it was still undeniably a good film. It was a really fun and enjoyable action flick that I can see myself throwing on whenever I need 90 minutes of bombastic explosions. I would give Predator a 7 out of 10 and it gets my recommendation. But that's just my thoughts. Please let me know down in the description what you think of Predator. Do you love it? Do you hate it? Do you think it's just alright? I love to read your comments and I try and respond to every single one of them. 
Thank you guys for watching. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends, all that jazz. And I'll see you guys next time for a very special video. Goodbye.